Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'm going to show you even more methods on how you can level up quickly in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7. In case you missed it, this is a follow-up to a video that I made a couple days ago, and in that one I got 20 levels in less than a day. And in this one I'm going to show you how I got an additional 10 levels by completing some of the milestones that we have available. The total amount of XP that you can get by completing these milestones is going to be more than 800,000, which means that even if you're not above level 100 yet, you're still going to be able to do 10 levels. And I'm going to show you how I went from 149 to 159. First thing that I did is destroy a whole bunch of shrubs. You can find these in Holly Hedges as well as Pleasant Park. And the best way to go about this is to get yourself a vehicle and drive through all of the bushes. As long as you're going over five miles an hour, it should only take one hit before you destroy it. So if you make your way around the map and then afterwards pick up the stragglers with your pickaxe you should be able to destroy at least 250 shrubs in just a single game the first tier is completed at 25 shrubs destroyed and the last one at 500 so basically you should be able to get this done within two games and it's going to be an easy 60,000 xp the next milestone is destroy stones this one is extremely tedious and even though i completed most of the tiers in a relatively short amount of time the fact that you can only destroy one or two stones at a time is honestly quite boring you can complete this one in any game mode that you like even team rumble the only thing that you're gonna need is a ufo i picked up the one at logjam woodworks and then started to make my way along the coast next to holly hedges all the way until the middle of the map. One thing that worked out really well for me is to spot a stone, fire a shot at that one, and once you let go of the button, immediately charge up your next shot and then look for a different stone. You have a little bit of time to kind of think and decide where you wanna fire. So after you let go of your shot, immediately look for your next objective and just keep repeating that. Fortunately, most of the stones on the map will be destroyed with a single hit, and if you can find several smaller stones standing next to each other, you just want to aim in the middle because the blast radius is quite large. So if you fire a shot at the middle, it's going to destroy all three stones at once. The first tier unlocks at 25 stones destroyed, and the last one at 1000. I only completed 4 out of the 5 tiers because after destroying 500 stones, I was pretty done with this. But it was good for 45,000 XP. When you are making your way over to Logjam Woodworks to grab a UFO, there's another milestone that you can complete and this one is called destroy sofas beds or chairs with a pickaxe i definitely recommend choosing the chairs out of all the options that you have and in the Durburger restaurant as well as pizza pit you can find a little over 50 chairs so once you are there just smack the chairs around as well and this will be good for another 60,000 xp the first tier unlocks at 25 destroyed and the last one at 500 destroyed after all of that pickaxing it's time for a little bit of fire well actually a lot of fire for this one you want to land at weeping woods and find yourself a bunch of fireflies Gas cans work too, but I think fireflies are just a little bit more effective. If you are making your way around Weeping Woods, I think there are about 10 different spots that you can grab fireflies. So whenever you get one, throw them at the trees in front of you, behind you, next to you or above you. And that will set the surrounding trees on fire. And it's basically just going to spread all throughout Weeping Woods. And whenever the fire stops, you just throw a new firefly. When you are making your way through Weeping Woods, there's one additional thing that I'd like you to pay attention to. And this is to ignite every single campfire that you come across. By doing this, you're effectively working on three single milestones at the same time, and they will be good for a total of 180,000 XP. The first one is to ignite structures with fire. Every single tree counts as a structure. And if the fire also gets to the houses that are in Weeping Woods, it's gonna be over in no time. That basically means that you will be able to complete this milestone in a single game. The next one is to destroy trees and this one is pretty easy as well. Once a tree catches on fire it's going to take a little bit of time for it to get fully destroyed and once that happens every single tree that is currently set on fire will count towards an additional one in your milestone. The same as with destroy stones I recommend completing the first four tiers because for the final tier of destroyed trees, you're gonna need to destroy 2,500 of them. And I think that's a bit of a waste of your time. Now, with regards to the campfires, you're gonna complete the first tier after you use three campfires, and then you will complete the last tier after using 150 campfires. But I'll talk about this a bit more later in the video. Up next, we have deal damage to a vehicle with a player inside. You can do this in any of the creative LTMs that are currently available via your lobby. Or you can visit a named location, which is currently being trolled by the trespassers. They kind of just float around and until you start shooting at them, they will just lift up players and objects and place them on the other side of the named location. It's only just quite annoying, but they don't do any harm. However, once you start shooting at them, they will start to fire with their UFOs. So pay attention to that. 
But yeah, in order to complete this milestone, just find yourself any AR, make sure you have enough bullets before you start shooting. And once you shoot down a UFO, it's gonna take a little bit of time for it to recharge. But if the trespasser hops on board again and starts flying away, you can easily deal additional damage, which is really nice. The final tier for this milestone unlocks at 20,000 damage dealt. I only completed four out of the five tiers because after dealing 10,000 damage, I was quite done with this. Keep in mind that every day you will also get three uncommon quests, which each give you 17,000 XP. So if you're doing any type of challenge or if you just hopped online to play some games, try to complete those because it's going to be about one free level that you can get every day. It's just a bit sad that after you complete them once, they turn into common quests, which only give you 1,000 XP, but it's still nice. Anyway, moving on, the next two milestones are easily combined. The first one is catch fish, and the second one is to use fishing spots. You can do this in Team Rumble or in Party Royale if you don't want to be bothered by any players or because the zone is closing in very quickly. But basically, you just want to find yourself a fishing rod and start fishing. You used to be able to complete this one in no time when you still had harpoon guns available in Team Rumble, but unfortunately, they faulted them. And it's going to take a little bit longer to complete all of the tiers for these two milestones. I am not sure if you have harpoon guns available in Party Royale. If you do, please let me know in the comments down below because I couldn't find them. Also, keep in mind that if you're playing Party Royale, you will not be able to see your XP bar. But if you complete a milestone in there, once you go back to the lobby, you will see that you indeed got XP. And if you leveled up, you will still get the battle stars. In order to complete both of these milestones, you will need to catch a total of 250 fish and use a total of 300 fishing spots. All right, the next two milestones are very easy to complete, but unfortunately you're either going to need a second account or some friends that are willing to help you out. If you don't have any friends online or they're busy, then feel free to use my comment section to find some people to play with and just leave your epic ID so that you can get some XP together. So the first milestone is to revive teammates. If you have a second account, basically go to any of the fire pits that you can find on the spire towers or where Stealthy Stronghold used to be. Jump on the fire using your second account, get knocked down, revive yourself and do this over and over again. I think I did a total of 50 revives and that was three tiers completed. You also have a milestone for rebooting teammates and if you have multiple people in your party, this is gonna go so much faster. The first one unlocks at two teammates rebooted and the last one unlocks at 50 teammates rebooted. Moving on to the next milestone, for this one we're going to mod vehicles. You can do this at pretty much every single gas station that has a modding area next to it. But the location that I really like is Lazy Lake since you can sometimes mod three or even four vehicles depending on how lucky you are with the off-road tire mods. You can quickly do this in solos, drop there, find the tire mod find any vehicle that doesn't have a lock on their wheels so that you can actually mod it do this a total of three times and then drive around the map trying to look for gas stations or just jump into a new match and repeat the process first tier unlocks at one vehicle modded and the last one at 50 vehicles modded an additional milestone that you can easily complete is by visiting rick sanchez if you have enough gold bars that is and bringing five normal weapons these can either be assault rifles shotguns or smgs you want to buy the nuts and bolts from him and then side grade your weapons when you do this uh, it's going to trigger two different milestones the first one is to craft weapons and the second one is to collect nuts and bolts you can also collect nuts and bolts by finding them as floor loot or from special ammo boxes but if you have the gold bars to spare then just definitely go for this one it's a lot easier earlier in the video i was talking about campfires but if you are playing team rumble and you farm yourself a lot of wood you can actually use one campfire six times. I know that sounds relatively confusing, but if you light up a campfire and then spend 30 wood to stoke it, it's gonna count as using a campfire. So basically, whenever you have a single campfire that is all set and ready to go, you can stoke it five times. And when you're done with that, instead of having used a campfire once, you will have used a single campfire six times. I don't know about you guys, but to me, that seems highly effective. If you have at least 1875 gold bars, you can visit Bushranger at the middle of the map, Hayseed at the steel farm, Joey at Dirty Docks, or Abstract at Retail Row, and purchase yourself a prop disguise. It costs 75 gold bars to activate it once, and once you do this 25 times, it's gonna give you 24,000 XP. Not for completely free, but for 1875 gold bars, I think that's a good trade. With all of that out of the way, I have two additional milestones that are relatively easy to complete. The first one is to search ice machines, and I recommend playing Team Rumble for this. You can find several ice machines by landing in sweaty sands, Start on top of the large building where you can find two ice machines, go to the building next to it, and then quickly make your way to the pier. You can find a total of five different ice machines there. You can also find additional ones uh, inside that large building in Weeping Woods and several ones at Misty Meadows. But I think that Sweaty Sands, or it's actually called Believer Beach now, that will definitely go the quickest. And if you are playing Team Rumble regardless, you may as well go ahead and open a bunch of supply drops because it's very easy to move around and you can just build yourself a ramp and glide to the next supply drop and keep repeating that process. I have 
have included all of the milestones that I discussed in this video in the description so that you can take a look for yourself and decide, okay, I want to complete this many tiers of that one and that many tiers of this one. And with all of that being said, that's going to be it for this video. All of the methods that I've discussed in this video are not glitches. They are just working as a milestone should be completed. So unless Epic decides to do something crazy and patch one of these methods, I really don't know why, but you should be able to complete all of this at any point in the season, even if you watch this video in the final week. That's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you want to support me further, use code PERFECTSCORE in the item shop. I'll see you guys at the next one. Peace!